Your Majesty, the dream demons of the abandoned universe have arrived, and they brought some friends. Good, leave them to me. As you wish. Oh man, King Fiction, am I glad to see you. Why did you guys leave your outpost? Oh, I figured you'd ask that. We wanted to live a life on our own. At first, we wanted to take over the universe, but Red and Godzilla convinced us otherwise that that was not the way to go. So, we joined their universe as civilians, and we're happy that way. But you do realize you caused an entire universe to go without sleep for months, right? Why, yes, but... Sleeping is a part of the natural order in every universe, including the one you chose right to join rather than manage. Hey, step off of him for that, will ya? You guys have been doing this for billions of years. I bet that this guy deserves a break. And what do you know, Redbird? This is supposed to be our job. This is what we were created to do. But it seems like that is too good for some of us. Yeah, by a creator that hasn't been around since I don't even know how long at this point. The Tyrant King specifically commanded us to do all of this years ago, and at never any point in time did he say that we could stop, and that goes for you Dream Demons as well. And guess what? Even if we have no reason to say he won't come back, he's been gone for a long time, we still believe he'll return. Now, all of you will be thrown into prison for the rest of your sad little pathetic lives. Don't you dare touch any of my friends or I'll blow this place down to the center of its foundations! Wow, I didn't know you had that in you. You know, for being a hippie, you sure come across as aggressive. Now listen to what we have to say! Very well. Now, what is the reason why you guys are actually here? Thank you, your majesty. There's this guy in our universe named Destroya, and he's one of our biggest threats yet. He's twice as powerful as he was last time we faced him, and he almost killed me and my friends. So we came to the dream world to destroy his mindscape and hopefully kill him that way. Since his physical body is immune to our base attacks, he just keeps on regenerating. Sweet. You want to kill him by destroying his mindscape. How do you plan to do that? I can blow up just about anything around me, and it'll destroy him and hopefully his mindscape, erasing him from existence. That sounds like a very dangerous plan. We get that. But just as long as Destroy is killed, and we make it out alive, everything should be fine. If only it were that simple. What do you mean by that? If you do something that destroys an entire mindscape, then it would kill the person who destroyed the mindscape as a defense mechanism towards the entire kingdom. So wait, uh, are you saying that this would inadvertently kill Reactor Girl Godzilla? Correct. You would also have to be killed along with Destroy her. You must be willing to make this sacrifice if you want your world saved. Reactor Glow, you don't have to do this. Well, I don't know what to say. I thought I'd be fine, but I guess not. Well, this is the only way we can do it without harming the environment in our universe. It is what you want. So, that's our only option. <sighs> I'll do it. Wait, what? Reactor Glow, there's got to be another way. There's no time for debate. Destroyer must be stopped at all costs, even if the cost consists of my life. I'll do it. Well, can you at least say goodbye to everyone? First, the others are already probably taking on Destroy himself. None of them have an energy attack that's powerful enough to destroy his entire body. Only I can. We have to initiate the plan. Very well, Reactor Glow. You're a very brave soul. You've proven yourself to be a warrior, despite your calm-like nature, most of the time. Thank you, your majesty. Destroy him while pay for what he has done to us.